Yo, so I can't even lie to y'all, man. I can't do it. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm not the biggest fan of 120 hand cannons. I know y'all might want to put me in a headlock for that, but I'm not. I got a thing for higher fire rates. I just do. So 180s are more my jam. Even though I know you got to hit more shots to be able to kill somebody, they're just more my cup of tea, okay? And look, I know 120s do have two tap potential, but there's just something about higher fire rate weapons that just always appealed to me. And I don't know, maybe I'm just a weirdo, I don't know. But I will openly admit that bottom dollar, this hand cannon has definitely swayed my interest, okay? I think probably because it kind of plays, in my opinion, like it's a 140 or a, a 180. Like, even though it's a 120, I just feel like gunplay with it is silky smooth it doesn't feel clunky like duke mark 44 felt and hand cannons of that nature it just feels very very smooth so i guess i'm openly admitting to you all that i'm starting to buy into these 120s i really am i really really am and it begins with bottom dollar now how do you get the gun super easy super easy you just gotta you know grind maybe the most annoying game mode in history also known as gambit <laughs> oh now nah, i kind of choked on those words there or hopefully you copped it from zer last weekend like i did you know i wish i would have dropped this video over the weekend when zer had this thing and he was live but it didn't work out that way because life happens and i apologize for that so i cheated i got mine from zer but if you want to do it the old-fashioned way better run some gambit and hope the drifter blesses you now let's talk about the gun here okay now as i mentioned before it's a 120 rpm hand cannon kind of like iron banners criminal's dagger right or trials of osiris's or trials of the nines's or trials of saint 44's igneous hammer right i don't know what i did there just act like that didn't happen okay that didn't happen at all it's mainly ideal for mid-range and pretty decent at long range too you know damage fall off aside and that's more so because it is a high impact hand cannon it's an aggressive frame hand cannon so that thing can do pretty good at long distances all right it's an easy three tap to the noggin and it is an easy two tap off of something like a charge of light damage increased build or something of that nature like if you have high energy fire activated due to being charged with light which i have in a little bit in some of the gameplay that is rolling right now you'll see the two tap potential is definitely viable to go alongside that i did find myself cleaning up a ton of folks that have been tapped on a little bit you know so i found myself even running into two tap situations even when i wasn't charged with light you know like somebody might have hit somebody with a bullet or two with an ar or maybe a burst of a pulse rifle and it was easy for me to clean them up with either one crit to the head or two taps to the body or anything of that nature any type of combination okay and with that all being said know that if you're facing a full health guardian you do need to hit your crits for this thing to have full effectivity man i almost butchered that word thank goodness i didn't all right four shots to the body with the 120 hand cannon just takes way too long and it's not really optimal okay it's not really optimal at all so you gotta hit those crits three to the head if you have something like charge with light active with high energy fire then two to the head will put the majority of guardians to sleep when we're talking about pairing this hand cannon with something, I think it's based upon what map you're on, okay? So if you're on like a long lane map, then you might wanna rock a sniper or a bow with this because I mean, come on now, if you're on a long lane map, then you're gonna find yourself in a lot of medium to long range gunfights. You're not gonna find yourself barrel stuff and people around every corner like, come on, let's be a little realistic here, right? Now in a close range map, I will look towards some form of shoddy, right? Some form of fusion rifle for guaranteed claps of course or if you want to be fancy pick whatever you want you know go gl go do whatever you want to do i'm just talking about realistic situations you know what i'm saying but if you are trying to clip somebody put somebody on reddit put somebody on twitter or on tiktok then run whatever you want dude just run whatever you want all right now i personally pair this thing with the chaperone because slug shotties are bay duh like i love slug shotties so chaperone is one of my bays you know what i'm saying first in last out which of course it's in the same energy slot as bottom dollar so i couldn't pair those but first in last out is another one of my bays that i get busy with with the slug shotty i mean man how can you not love a slug shotty 
switching gears here a little bit let's talk about roles okay so i'm gonna talk about my role first and foremost i'll drop an image on the screen as well so you guys can keep up with me here so i'm rocking flared magwell when it comes to the magazine right so i can increase the stability and reload speed and i rock this over alloy mag because i feel like stability on 120s is mad necessary especially when you're a controller player like myself okay now in the first perk slot i have outlaw and in the second perk slot i have dragonfly okay outlaw if you don't know what it does precision kills greatly reduce your reload time all right so it makes reloading post kill almost instantaneous you know maybe not that fast but it's a lot faster okay and then dragonfly it creates an elemental explosion based off of a precision kill okay so that helps with good multi-kill potential since it can inflict damage on another nearby enemy so i kill somebody with a precision kill dragonfly procs hurt somebody next to them and that's an easy two tap cleanup for me now i just want a 1v2 situation you see what i'm saying like so overall it makes it so if i line up my crits and i do what i'm supposed to do which of course is line up those crits and i play it smart of course i can put down two to three guardians before i even really need to reload or if i do need to reload in between guardian put downages i just totally made it up if I need to reload between putting down guardians, I can do so because hopefully outlaw has proc to do to the precision kill. You know what I'm saying? Now, just a heads up, bottom dollar has a lot of variation in regards to what it can roll with. Okay, so just talking about some of the other perks that it can roll with and some builds that I would like to get sometime in the near future. Okay, so just talking about perk slot one. Okay, we have rapid hit, fourth times the charm, substance, Outlaw, of course, would I have Killing Wind, Range Finder, Surplus, Pulse Monitor, Feeding Frenzy, Hip Fire Grip, Quick Draw, and Slide Shot. Okay, wow, a lot. And in slot number two, your bottom dollar can roll with Explosive Payload, Thresh, Wellspring, Disruption Break, Multi Kill Clip, High Impact Reserves, Rampage demolitionist dragonfly which i have eye of the storm opening shot and or unrelenting unrelenting what the heck unrelenting guys i can't talk sorry long day anywho so again bottom dollar has a lot of variance a lot of variance with or excuse me in regards to what it can roll with now let's discuss some potential roles that personally I would like and I'll go by slot. So let's talk about perk slot number one. First perk I would love to have is rapid hit, right? Because rapid hit allows precision hits to temporarily increase stability and reload speed. And look, the more stability I can get, especially without compromising my reload speed, the better, okay? Now surplus will be nice to have too. If you don't know what surplus is, it increases handling, reload speed, and stability for each fully charged ability. Again, same reasons that I would get rapid hit. The more stability, the better. I love having a higher reload speed on a hand cannon especially. And look, increased handling, more the merrier. You know, why not, why not? In regards to range, range is already pretty solid on this hand cannon in my opinion, but if I wanted more, I would look at Killing Wind or Range Finder, okay? Killing Wind is when final blows grant increased mobility, weapon range and handling for a short duration, and Range Finder is when you aim the weapon, it increases its effective range and zoom magnification, all right? Now, moving on here to slot number two, one perk that I would like to have for sure is Rampage. I mean, who wouldn't want Rampage, right? Because Rampage, right off the rip, gives you two tap possibility, okay? Because Rampage, if you don't know what it does, Rampage increases the damage on your weapon and it can stack up to three times per kill you get, okay? So you kill somebody, Rampage goes up to one, kill somebody again, two times, kill somebody again, three times, okay? Another perk that I would like to have in that second slot would be high impact reserves, okay? This is when rounds towards the end of the magazine deal more damage, right? And same idea as Rampage, it could even save you if you hit a body shot in a heat of the fight where somebody is cracked, right? Versus a headshot because again, those rounds at the end do a bit more damage. And look, when you are in those heated gunfights and sometimes you panic a little bit, any bullet that hit can count. And if you're at the end of a mag, high impact reserves can save your tail. And lastly, I would have to go with explosive payload for the same reason why I like Dragonfly, okay? Explosive payload is when projectiles actually create an area of effect detonation on impact. So y'all remember, AOE damage already starts working on the next Guardian to kill, okay? Also, think about this. The explosive payload makes damage fall off a little bit non-existent since the fall off damage gets made up for by the explosive payload. So in a sense, it kind of gives you unlimited range 
explosive payload is very 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 useful and honestly i think i might grind a little bit of gambit to try to get a goat roll bottom dollar so folks ultimately overall it's a solid hand cannon it's not the best 120 to ever exist in the world but it's very sturdy and it can serve you a ton of justice okay so let me know down in the comments what you all think about bottom dollar also if you have one and you think one is a goaded roll let me know what it is down in the comments i'll love to hear it it's been your boy cray i am signing out and i'll catch you all in the next one until then as i always say remember stay humble be blessed to remain relentless i'll catch you on the next video peace Thank you.